remember when we started this off we were prompted to choose a template right so you have certain types of flows available if you notice the first three or the first four or the first five here talk about a screen flow a record triggered flow a schedule triggered flow a platform event triggered flow and auto launch flow if you want to see more of it you have these options here and you can look at some templates okay if i were to show you let's say if i were to create a case and go ahead and say create see this would open a pre-created a pre-configured templated create a case scenario right now i would have to just go in and understand what's being doing what's being done in each step and if i had to tweak it for my requirement i would just go ahead and modify that okay but see how clean this looks how easy to understand this is that's the power of flows and how many things can we do now if i were to quickly ask i would pause myself and i'll just ask you go ahead and answer when you're looking at this video what is this is this a element is this a resource or is this a connector yes this is an element right now what is this if i go down below what is this is this an element the decision is this an element yes it is an element okay now what are the connectors that you see here? Yes, the one that you see here is a connector. The one that you see here is a connector, right? What are connectors connecting? Right, they are connecting multiple elements. See, one element is connected to the other element based on the logic that is defined here. So if contact ID is not, is not null or is it null? So it goes in here or else it goes here. So that's the kind of connectors uh, or the path that is being defined, okay? what are the resources that are being used so let's open assign stage one so you see there's a variable that's being used where can i see all the resources where can i see all the resources tell me yes we can go to this box right here and you will see all your resources listed down here see you have some screen components you have some record variables you have some pick list choice sets you have some formulas you have some decision outcomes everything is listed here everything that the flow is using as part of variables or resources are listed here cool all right so that was about the flow elements connectors and resources and now let's again go back to the types if i were to click on the new flow we will primarily be focusing on the first three items in this entire curriculum because this is 100 percent or maybe 90 percent of what you need from flows right if you want user input you go ahead with the first one if you want any background jobs to be done you want go with the second one if you want to do something like a bad job something in the future something at a specified interval or time you go with the third one okay these are the types of flows we'll talk about in our entire curriculum and once you are good with these three there's no stopping you Okay, I keep repeating that so that I can instill some confidence in you that flows are nothing like, you know, it's something very fancy, something very tough, something very tough to do. No, nothing like that. If you are viewing this as a business analyst, if you are viewing this as an admin, if you are viewing this as a customer who wants to use their own sales force and you want to configure it yourself, not have to hire someone, this is for you. And it's not tough, it's easy. Okay. I am not calling out developers because it's very easy. It's comparatively easier for them to onboard into something that's declarative because they've already worked on the custom part of it. So it's easier for them to understand it. But someone who is an admin, a consultant, a business analyst, or maybe a product, right? Someone from product who wants to configure things on their own. Let's say you want to do a demo, a pre-sales demo, and you don't have any resources or developers or people to work for you. Can you configure it yourself? Yes, you can yes you can okay cool so now every flow type supports a set of resources and elements now the resources and elements i hope you understand these keywords these are available which each flow type but there are a different set of them available so there are some some tweaks and changes but majority of it is same and they are used for specific purpose or scenarios now let's see some broad categories of standard flow types available first is screen flows second is record triggered flows and third is scheduled triggered flows now what are screen flows what does the name suggest screen flows are nothing but whenever you need a user input wherever you need to show a screen to the end user for them to be able to fill out or do some interactions that's when you use a screen flow okay see what does the description say guides users through a business process that's launched from the lightning experience or maybe a button right if you are here and if you want to click on let's say let's say we go to accounts i go to this particular record and here if i click a button right and i want a pop-up to open which shows the 
primary details of the account or maybe the secondary details of the account that needs some user interaction right they have to click a button and they have to view a screen it cannot be done in the background in that case which flow do we use we use a screen flow because we need to show a screen as simple as that cool what's the next one the next one is a record triggered flow when is this used it is used when a record is created updated or deleted and this runs in the background so let's say you don't want to show a screen but when you click on this change owner button it should automatically change the owner from himanshu to your name so do i need the user to interact with any screen on this case no do i want him to input any values no right so in that case i have to do something on the background i just have to take this record pull the account owner and replace it with the new one so that can be done on the background no interaction required so in that case is such scenario you use a record triggered flow okay what's the third one the third one is schedule triggered flow schedule triggered is basically sorry the schedule triggered flow is basically nothing but let's say i want to send out birthday messages to my customers so i go to the contacts object right and i want to look at all the contacts that i have whose birthdays are this month let's say whose birthdays are today so i want to check every day whoever's birthday is today i want to send them an email a birthday wish okay how do i do that i use a schedule trigger flow so this will run on daily basis and it will pick all the records that satisfy the criteria for the flow to run and the, it would run at a specific time so i can choose this flow and i can just say create and if you notice the first thing it prompts me to ask is set your schedule so i'll say starting tomorrow at 10 a.m in the morning or maybe 8 a.m right on a daily basis go ahead and do certain things for me so this will run this will start a schedule triggered flow which will run daily at 8 am and it will run until i choose to deactivate it and what will it do it will try to find what it will try to get records of all the contacts whose birthday is today and send them an email so it would do an action it would send them an email right so if i type send email you see send email is available as an action or i can very well choose this particular action here it has the list of all the actions that i can take okay so that is something i can do from a schedule triggered flow okay now you tell me what is an example of a screen flow give me another example tell me this if i were to launch a survey wherein i ask user how satisfied are you with your current salesforce org and they put in some number in on it i say that you know click on the next button uh, give me a description of what you want to say what you want to improve and then click on the submit button which flow would i use out of these three the screen flow right because it needs user interaction okay let's say i want to want the users to uh, put in a random number and i will give them a raffle ticket a lottery ticket okay in that case which which flow do i use i use a screen flow why because user input or user interaction is required okay let's say when a case is due or when a task is due for a month right in that case i want to send out an email to the tasks owner's manager that your own the task owner is not looking into the work and is not is just you know uh, passing time like you know without working so which one do i use for that no i'll not use a schedule triggered i will use a record triggered because as part of record triggered this will launch at a specific time and date but record triggered will launch based on the record criteria so as part of record triggered i can also put some scheduled tasks in the future that depend on the record do you want to see how if i go ahead and say create you see i can either do something immediately or i can do something later not here I can do something later I might have to configure it but let's see that in an actual use case okay if I were to do this and let's say done you see I have something that's called scheduled paths so I can add a scheduled path so what this will do is run this particular connection immediately see run immediately but I can choose to add something in the future based on a certain date condition I can do that that is different from the schedule triggered why because this is still record triggered based on the cases due date and 
not following up for 30 days i am i'm trying to uh, do something but here what i'm saying is on a particular date and time do this particular thing right so this specifies the time and frequency of when it needs to be done and what and how frequently it needs to be done right so you understand the difference now tell me this if i had a requirement where if a account is let's say if a contact is or let's say if a lead is converted all the pending tasks under that lead should be automatically marked closed or completed which one would you use you would use a record triggered flow why because the trigger of a record being converted should also trigger the closure of all the tasks that's why a record record does this need user intervention no does it need a screen to show no so no screen flow okay and does this need to be done daily or maybe weekly no it should only be done when a lead is converted that's why a record triggered flow tell me this if i want all my cases to be closed on every 15th of february which one would i use every 15th of february i want all my cases to be closed right i can do with the schedule triggered flow okay so schedule triggered flow would start on a specific time and frequency and i will be able to handle this okay how about i want something to run every weekly i want an email to be sent to to the org owner that take a, these are the number of accounts that are in the system these are the number of contacts in the system it should happen weekly and it should go at 11 a.m every morning how can i do that do i need user intervention do i need user input do i need a screen no is this record triggered no because this involves multiple records i just need to share the count so which one should it be it should be scheduled triggered flow cool so i was i hope i was able to explain you the differences in terms of the use cases now tomorrow if you have a business requirement that says uh, we need to do this you should be able to assess which flow do i need to write and whether or not a flow will suffice or not the first thing is custom code or flow if you land on flow which flow all right so i hope we are able to make that decision what i want you to do is as part of this video if you are watching this on youtube i want you to comment down below one example of each type of flow based on your based on your understanding it can be a salesforce requirement it could be a business requirement it could be any imaginary uh, business requirement you made but give me one example of each and put that in the comment okay and i'll try to and i'll, I'll definitely i'll not try but i'll definitely answer which of your comments are correct okay and if you made a mistake i will probably tell you why all right so those are the three broad types and in our entire curriculum we will focus on these three ones and we'll go ahead with use cases on each one of them until and unless i think you should be good okay and then i have another plan uh, for for the use cases i'll discuss that in upcoming videos all right cool so that was about types of flows now we jump into setting up and creating a flow so i have already talked about setting up and creating a flow i have shown you how to create a flow because we looked into the types of flows and we used the interface and you were able to understand how to save it how to activate it so that was the basic setup nothing else is required you don't need any extra permissions and all of that stuff you can just go ahead and do it okay as a system system administrator obviously okay you can go ahead and do it so you find flows sleeky i mean not sleeky uh, do you find flows uh, sleek do you find them uh, unique do you find them uh, easy to interact with do you find them easy to do as of now i might have shown you a lot of things but yes everything that we have seen we'll try to also accomplish them one by one we will we'll take a look at pretty much all the decision elements that are here we'll look at everything here so don't worry so all of the shortcuts data logic and all of this will be available and you will be able to use each one of them independently and exclusively that's the idea.